Let's investigate the fascinating complexities of the human brain, particularly focusing on split-brain patients. The brain, a remarkable organ, is divided into two hemispheres, each responsible for different functions and aspects of our cognition. The left hemisphere typically handles language and analytical tasks, while the right hemisphere is more involved in creativity and spatial awareness. This division raises intriguing questions about consciousness and identity. What happens to our sense of self when the two hemispheres operate independently? How do split-brain patients experience the world differently? As we explore these mysteries, we invite you to ponder the nature of self and the intricate workings of our minds. Join us on this thought-provoking journey into the depths of human consciousness, where science meets philosophy and the enigma of identity unfolds. The human brain is divided into two hemispheres, each playing distinct roles in our daily function. The left hemisphere primarily governs language, logic, and analytical tasks, controlling the right side of the body. In contrast, the right hemisphere is associated with creativity, intuition, and spatial awareness, managing the left side of the body. This division of labor is crucial for our overall functioning. Connecting these two hemispheres is the corpus callosum, a thick band of nerve fibers that facilitates communication between them. This structure is vital for coordinating activities and ensuring that both sides of the brain work in harmony. When the corpus callosum functions properly, it allows for seamless integration of information, enabling us to perform complex tasks efficiently. Understanding this anatomy not only sheds light on brain function, but also highlights the intricate connections that define our cognitive ability. Split brain surgeries emerged as a treatment for severe epilepsy, aimed at reducing the frequency of seizures by severing the corpus callosum, the brain's communication bridge between the two hemispheres. This procedure effectively isolates the electrical activity of one hemisphere from the other, which can significantly diminish seizure activity. Initially, patients exhibited seemingly unchanged behavior after the surgery, leading doctors to believe that their cognitive functions remained intact. However, further observations revealed a fascinating phenomenon. Split-brain patients often experience conflicting actions and thoughts. For instance, one hemisphere might initiate a movement while the other hemisphere resisted, leading to a disconnection in their responses. This intriguing outcome raised profound questions about the nature of consciousness and self, as patients navigated a reality where their two hemispheres operated independently, each with its own perceptions and intentions, highlighting the complexities of human cognition. In split-brain patients, communication between the two hemispheres is disrupted, leading to intriguing implications for identity and self-perception. The right hemisphere can perceive and act on information but lacks the ability to verbalize its thoughts, creating a unique challenge in understanding its intention. Meanwhile, the left hemisphere, which is responsible for language, often constructs narratives to rationalize the actions initiated by the right hemisphere. This phenomenon can result in patients performing tasks without conscious awareness of why they are doing so as the left brain retroactively justifies actions it did not initiate. Such experiments reveal unsettling insights into the nature of consciousness, suggesting that our sense of self may not be as unified as we believe. This disconnection raises profound questions about identity, autonomy, and the intricate workings of the mind, challenging our understanding of what it means to be human. The split-brain phenomenon raises profound philosophical questions about identity and the nature of self. When two distinct intelligences coexist within one head, who exactly are you? This duality challenges our conventional understanding of a unified self, prompting us to consider the implications of having a mute intelligence that can comprehend but cannot communicate its thoughts. How does this silent awareness affect the individual's experience of reality? As we explore these complexities, we encourage viewers to reflect on their own sense of self. What does it mean to be conscious? And how do we define our identity in light of such intricate cognitive dynamic? These questions invite us to delve deeper into the nature of consciousness, urging us to confront the multifaceted layers of our identities and the enigmatic workings of our minds, ultimately reshaping our understanding of what it means to be human. 
In this video, we explored the intricate structure of the brain, focusing on the two hemispheres and their distinct function. We delved into the fascinating world of split-brain experiments, revealing how these surgeries illuminate the complexities of consciousness and identity. By examining the unique experiences of split-brain patients, we gained insights into the nature of self and the potential for conflicting thoughts and actions within one individual. Understanding these concepts is crucial for unraveling the mysteries of human behavior and identity. If you found this discussion thought-provoking, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with others who might be interested. Additionally, explore our related content for more engaging insights into the brain and consciousness. Join us on this journey of discovery as we continue to uncover the wonders